Frick, even I think it's a little bit clickbaity myself, but I do have my reasonings here, so bear with me just a little bit. As of right now, we do have a clear indication of what FSD beta is going to be like in a few months from now. It's almost certain that we're going to see hands-off driving by the end of this year or early next year. Now, I do believe that this year is going to be the year that is going to happen just because of the improvements that I've been seeing in FSD beta alone. The whole beta situation that's going on and confusing a lot of people is still there, it's still around, but I do hope Tesla is going to change this around just a little bit because at this very point right now, every single feature that has to do with autopilot, self-driving, summon, or FSD beta has the bracketed beta right behind it. So I can see how a lot of people may get confused with this and think that their car is less capable than it really is but FSD beta is on another league of its own. Now, it's really tough for me to say this because I've been talking down on FSD beta quite a bit, especially since recently it just came up in Canada and all the roads have not been optimized 100% for it, whereas down south, a lot of different states have FSD beta running for the past couple years. But all that has changed my mind after FSD version 11.3 when the single stack version came out. I noticed that there were giant leaps in terms of improvements compared to previous iterations. With all that being said, I still do believe that FSD beta hands-free version is going to come out by the end of this year or early next year because we do have some kind of confirmation now. Now, if you can't recall, just a couple weeks ago, a user on Twitter by the name of Whole Mars Blog tweeted out and got a response from Elon about the situation with FSD beta hands-off. He recommended that if after 10,000 miles of driving on FSD beta and you still have a good track record, that the wheel neg would be completely be removed. Now it seemed very far-fetched at that time but as soon as Elon responded we got our first confirmation at that point that it was going to be happening. Now I did talk about the situation in a specific video if you guys haven't checked that out I'll drop it in the description below go watch that video and drop me a comment there but just a brief summarization of what happened there is that Elon tweeted out that it was going to go through a software update early 2023 in January. We haven't heard from Elon about the situation for a very long time and we thought the whole idea of hands-off driving would completely be gone. It was a little frustrating because we know right now that the interior cameras of your Teslas can track your head movement, your eye movements, and every single part of the driver's attention. So there is really no need for the wheel neg anymore and honestly the wheel neg doesn't really represent if you're paying attention or not. People can defeat it by using a cheat device or they can even just hang their hands on the wheel and look somewhere else and it will still do the job. But anyways, a few months passed by and we got our confirmation from Elon once again about the situation and it seems like they are slowly removing wheel nags completely and relying on the camera. Now even though he tweeted that out a few weeks ago and said future updates are going to remove the wheel nag, we haven't seen much improvements there. I'm actually seeing a lot more wheel nag than I saw in prior updates so I don't know what's going on. But let me know in the comments below as well, are you guys experiencing the same or even more wheel nag? or is there a reduction overall? But moving on, I think we got a confirmation here and this is the biggest confirmation yet. This is a version 11.4. Now, if you guys don't know, we are on the 11.3 branch right now and things are behaving fairly well. However, they're still doing quite a bit of wonky things that you wouldn't expect, especially up here in Canada. At this point, I know a lot of you guys across the globe probably do want FSD beta running on your cars, but there is a reason why you wouldn't want to spend that much money on a software like this. There is a lot more enjoyment running basic autopilot than if you bought FSD because you're gonna have to be watching it and watching every single one of its moves versus just relying solely on autopilot. And this is where I made a specific video about that as well. My road trips consist of me turning off FSD just because it does so much movements that I have to really be watching it every single second. Whereas basic autopilot just stays in its lane and I know exactly what it's gonna do each and every single moment. But what gives me a lot of hope with 11.4, which Elon has tweeted out that he's personally testing it on his vehicles right now. He typically runs an alpha version of the FSD beta package and that might sound a little confusing running an alpha version that's also a beta version. But yeah, exactly. That's what he's running in his vehicle. And he says that there is barely any interventions at all. Now, obviously that can't be said for the 11.3 public branch right now. So it means that there has to be a really gigantic leap 
up to 11.4. But just hang on guys, because 11.4 on its own is not going to provide hands-free driving. And I think that a large part of this has to do with the new vehicles with hardware 4. Now, if you guys aren't already aware, Tesla always drives the latest Model S, and that means that he's driving the, probably the latest Model S Plaid with hardware 4 built inside. Now, ever since hardware 4 got shipped with the Model S's and X's, we haven't really heard much about it. We haven't really heard anything regarding any enhancements for the sensor suites. It seemed to have behaved exactly as the current hardware 3, and there's actually some regression on top of the missing ultrasonic sensors. So there is a very high chance that hardware 4 is going to have exclusive features right now with 11.4. This is where the cameras with higher resolution is going to be able to see much further down the road. And this is where it's going to have a lot more confidence than the hardware 3. And this is the reason why they're going to be able to enable hands-off driving. Now, the typical cameras that you guys are probably thinking of is the upgraded resolution, the ones pointing out your windshields and all around your vehicle. That in itself contributes to the hands-off process, but the major one is the increased interior camera resolution. Now we don't have any full confidence that the interior camera has been upgraded, but what we do know is now it does have an IR blaster infrared that is able to see what you're doing in the pitch dark. Prior vehicles did not have this, and on top of that, the resolution was not strong enough. So meaning that when it's dark enough at night and there's no visible light at all, it's not going to be able to track what you're doing. So in the case that Tesla does decide to go hands-off driving for the hardware 3 suites with those older interior cameras, you guys are sure that NHTSA is just going to jump in right away and smack this down immediately. So yeah, these are my indications of why hardware 4 is going to be activated in 11.4. And I know for a fact that they're already working on a specific software for the newer vehicles with hardware 4 built in. It's only going to be a matter of time before the older vehicles with hardware three are going to be left out with features so yeah what better time to upgrade your vehicle than this year when hardware 4 does eventually get onto your project highland and juniper vehicles anyways guys i am very excited for this update 11.4 however as you guys know from my previous community update the vehicle has been sold and at least for this time being until a subscription model comes up here in canada the likelihood of me purchasing fsd for nearly twenty thousand dollar is very low so unfortunately I won't be able to demo any of those for you guys, but uh, keep an eye out. I might have another vehicle that is going to have FSD and I might be demoing it for you guys more often than not. Oh yeah, and definitely I'm gonna be picking up a Model 3 Highland as soon as it's available. So keep an eye out for those videos gonna be coming out. I'm gonna be highlighting everything about the Project Highland vehicle as soon as it comes out. Make sure you guys hit subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell notification if you guys haven't done so already because as soon as I release the video, you guys will be the first to watch it and the first to comment with all your craziness. So anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. This is John once again. Peace out.